Canada, oh Canada, <laughs> sorry we beat you so badly. Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> we're back from Brimley. Had a little tougher time this year than last year. Just a little bit. A little bit. But uh, bottom line, USA ended up uh, taking top spot for the most part. Won by 400 pounds. Three days of fishing. Three days of fishing. Pounds. You can do the math. Holy cow. It was a grind though, you guys. What a tough bite. Pre-fishing was great though. Yes. I mean, we, we actually uh, stayed down by Lake Huron for the first two days. Uh, which is about as far as you can go from where takeoff was. Uh, but we got on some pretty good fish down there. Especially you did. That, that, that second day, that, that, was, that was fun. You made a couple good moves down there, man, and it turned out to be a good deal. Well, you know, we pulled in there, and water temp seems to be everything this time of year. And I noticed the shallower I kept getting, the warmer the water got. And I eventually ran into fish up in a foot to a foot and a half of water and actually drilled them pretty good. That second day, you had a 24. 25, a 23, a 22, and everything else was above 20. But that wasn't tournament day, so you know that don't count. You can just you write hear that, that stuff off. all the time. Oh, in, in practice, I was just killing them. Yep, but uh, didn't happen during a tournament. No. Story of my life. No, so, but we we kind of got on that shallow program down there. You know, kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together way down south, and actually brought a lot of that back up north, a little closer to home, and that same pattern was holding true. Yeah. Now in them shallow waters, I mean, no planer boards, kicker motor running, muddy water. Music jamming. Music jamming, foot and a half of water, 10 feet of line out. There's awesome. not many places you can do that, and that's pretty fun fishing. That was really fun fishing. Tournament day though, overnight, and we had some nasty weather come through. I mean, temperatures dropped. Air temperatures dropped 20 degrees. Yeah, we were almost freezing the morning of the tournament, yes. the first day. And uh, that cooled our water temperatures down in those shallow bays at least eight 10 to, degrees. 8 to 10 degrees is yeah. what we lost. And those fish did not stick around. I mean, it was as quick as flicking a light switch. The fish were in bunches in the shallows, and come the next day, they were non-existent. After day one, we each had only a couple fish on our scorecard, but it was still good enough to hang us in the top third of the field. Yeah. Well, when two fish is good for 15th place in a 62-boat field, the bite is definitely tough. <laughs> day two was a little different. Day two, you know, you and I made a pretty long run. We went and started in Lake Superior, ran through Lake Superior, through the locks, all the way down the St. Mary's River, within sight of Lake Huron. Um, how'd that work for you? About as good as it worked for you. Yeah, no, we pulled out of there with no fish. Uh, I had to scramble to try to find something that afternoon. And, you know, I think, in all total, what we fish, maybe three hours the second day. Yeah. You know, and, and I was lucky enough to be able to, to get into a spot that was firing pretty quickly and by the grace of God put the right bait on at the right time because I caught all four fish on one bait and, and just fell into a pot of biting fish. Lost a rod somewhere in the mix there. Oh no. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was just fortunate to run into a pot of fish when they were feeding. We know you lost the rod because Brett must have trolled through there the next day, hooked something. And he's fighting something and all of a sudden line comes up he brings in like a thousand feet of line and no rod oh maybe next time i'll tie my backing to the spool and i'll get my rod back <laughs> really you don't tie your... really a couple overhand knots oh my god if you can't tie a knot just tie a lot <laughs> obviously that didn't work we're gonna have to try something else but uh you know the second day it was still tough but you know i i found a few i got one you had another tough day and Going into the third day, everybody was really still in this event. I mean, if somebody went out and put a quality bag of fish together, they were gonna do well. And going out the third day, we woke up to some pretty hellacious winds and rain. Uh, 38 degrees, I believe it was, and rain. I opted to stay put right there in Brimley the third day. I was like, you guys run. I'll probably catch just as many fish as I've been catching the rest of this tournament right here in the bay. I ended up running another 60 miles south. How was that? Um, not fun. <laughs> a little wet? A little wet, pretty wet. Uh, but got back down and fished that same area I fished uh, day two in the afternoon and, and it wasn't as quick as it was for me, uh, but we were able to grind four fish out of there. Um, had a lot more time to fish, but you know, could only get four of them to go. Um, but that did me okay. But locking down into the river though, guys, that's three years in a row now. That locking system has been 
flawless. Yeah, they've gotten us up and down like we're a priority. It's, yes. it's been awesome, and uh, we really appreciate that because that makes our day go a heck of a lot smoother when you're dealing with locking up and down. But uh, not only the locks, though, I mean, the whole city of Brimley really takes care of us when they we come do. into town. I mean, that is almost one of my favorite places to go just on how welcoming the community is there. I mean, they literally roll the red carpet out for you. It is pretty cool. No matter what, you know, we're looking forward to coming back. We had a great time, and uh, you still pull out a good finish <laughs> given the circumstances. Lucky. Wanna, can I borrow that horseshoe for the next Every, tournament? Everybody gets lucky once in a while. <laughs> next up is uh, Lorraine. Lake Erie. Lake Erie, yep. Central Basin. We, they should be right there, right, right out right of Lorraine, there. right on the sandbar. So there shouldn't be any long runs to be made and it should make some big, for some great fishing and big some giants fish. giant fish so i'm looking forward to that that's that's what two weeks away not even yeah yeah a couple weeks so uh canada we'll give you a rematch anytime let us know when you're ready to dance <laughs> all right guys we'll be talking to you soon take care now it's a salmon it's a salmon Well, that's a pretty good one, too. Look at that thing. That's your first. That's it. Oh! <laughs> that's like a four year old. <laughs>